Uh, Most important uh, question is uh, Travis making his bed? Okay. Yeah, he's got to do laundry too. <laughs> Amy's Amy's on the on the cooking, so we're getting fed pretty good at least. Carrie, mm -hmm. I'm sure it's great to see the guys, but it's got to be mixed emotions and maybe even some anger there, knowing that this isn't a real practice and the whole team's not here. Yeah, it's definitely frustrating. You know, we were, we all we had a long summer, so you know we kind of we sat and stewed over last year for a long time, and we all prepared to, for for a quick start, and now we're. We're kind of just sitting here idling now, so it, it's, it's pretty frustrating. With all the regime change, the new GM, the new coach, all the new faces, do you think your team is at peril of losing more than some other teams because this was going to be such an exciting camp for you guys to bond and gel together? Yeah, but uh, at the same time, we have a lot of guys that are here. Um, we, have, we have a pretty good group of guys. A lot of the guys have their kids in school and stuff and are, aren't planning to go anywhere as of yet. So. Um, you know, the main the main core of our, our group is, is mostly here, so we're still we're still getting that time to bond together. Were you stunned, surprised, shocked, uh, angered by the fact that PK didn't get a new deal when it seemed that everybody in their NHL dog was getting a multi-year deal before the lockout? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure he's looking looking for a certain number, and um, I'm sure he's I'm sure he wants to get that. So, I mean, it's that's his prerogative, I guess. You went through that a couple of years ago, so you understand what that Yeah, I understand. About. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I know what he's going through. Um, you know, he's, he's still a young guy, so, you know, there's, there's differences in opinion between, between management and, and his opinion. So, I mean, I'm sure they'll get it figured out soon. Well, Carrie, when, is when it, you I, look at the way things have turned out for you, do you see as the, that two-year two contract you've got as a, an occasion to pay your dues, maybe to prove yourself, and which you did? Yeah, that's like I remember when we had that conference call at that time. I got asked why two years, and I just felt like that was probably the best number at that time. Give me a couple of years to, uh, you know, kind of prove myself because I hadn't uh, hadn't played much that that spring. So yeah. it gave me that two years to kind of prove what I can do and, and go from there. Similar for Max too. Like, same yeah, sort of thing. Exactly. Yeah. As, as it became more apparent that it looked like a lockout was going to be in the cards, did you change your preparation at all? Your training? Did you did you tweak anything that you were doing? Yeah, we were training uh, like five times a week, mm -hmm. like in the gym, on the ice. So once once we knew we were going to get locked out, like we, we knew we was probably going to get locked out a couple of weeks ago. So we just ease off the gas pedal a little bit because you can't train like that every day. You know, with no, without the, that motivation of knowing that training camp's right around the corner, so we're just backing it off a little bit. Have you lost even more weight? Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, they wanted me a little bit lighter this year, a little bit leaner. So um, it was only it was only about 10 pounds. So I actually feel pretty good right now. It's not Amy's cooking. No, it's not Amy's. Cooking. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you come in uh, come into camp at, or or now? What do you? Uh... Uh, this morning I weighed in at uh, I think it was 210 this morning. Is that good for you? Are you happy? Is that where you want to be? Yeah, I talked to our strength coach at the end of last season. That's that's about my target weight I wanted to be in at. It wasn't heavy last year. I was just I just wanted to be leaner. How much time did you work with Pierre during the summer? Uh, he came out uh, he came out twice this summer, uh, and uh, we spent we spent about two, two and a half three weeks together at different points in the summer. He's uh, he's an awesome strength coach. He's got a great uh, he's got a great workout routine, and he keeps it keeps it mixed up, keeps it keeps it fun, and I think that's the most important thing. Brian just admitted he's lost respect for the respect for Gary Bettman. Have you? Yeah, it's it's tough, you know. <laughs> it's uh, we all wanted to play, you know. We all we all thought that uh, we could get a fair deal reached by now, and you know it just seems that uh, that we're at a stalemate. And, you know, it is what it is. It's it's business. Do you, you guys feel it's Gary or the owners? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think <laughs> separate the two. Yeah, I think I think the representation has a lot, a lot, a lot of pull. I don't think a lot of the owners are are on the same boat. I think there might be a little bit of mixed feelings in that group. So, I definitely think it's probably the the head of the snake. Who had to scrounge the jerseys for you guys today? It looked like a real uh, mishmash out there. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of a lot of everything going on. We had guys with no shoulder pads and no socks. <laughs> <laughs> we looked like a rec league team out there. Who was running the practice? Uh, it was uh, it was a friend of ours. Um, I, I'm not sure where we got him from, but <laughs> we actually ran a pretty good practice. Yeah, it was yeah, pretty yeah. up tempo. We need that's what we need. Like 
playing shinny hockey for an hour every day. Is he, is he a coach somewhere or, or just? I think so. I don't. I don't know him that much personally. I know he's. I think he does coach a little bit somewhere. He's got some experience somewhere. So we we're not allowed to use obviously yeah. anybody from the team. We, so we had to outsource. Did you have contact with Pierre Drew also this summer? Yeah, 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 I talked with him quite a bit yeah. this summer. Um, obviously, we can't now, but yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, I guess you were you were happy that they took your advice and yeah, me and, them. yeah, me and Pierre get along really good. We got uh, we got a good relationship. He understands my game. And he knows uh, he knows when to push me and when to kind of back off. So I knew that was important to have that chemistry because it took us it took us a couple of years to get that. So it sucked to throw all that away. Did Michel Therrien pretty much leave the two year alone, or did he talk to you much at all? Uh, yeah, he, well, it was mostly me and me and PG talking. I got to talk to to coach a few times throughout the throughout the summer, just to you know shoot it a little bit, mm -hmm. like get to know each other. I I actually met him for the first time when I got here a few days ago. So, were you in touch with Peter Budaidel during the summer? This will actually be his second season of with the same guy across from you. Yeah, that's it's awesome. I love I love uh, Boots. He's he's a great guy to have around and. Um, you know, he, he works really hard. He's really good, good guy in the dressing room, and that's really important. Can you go back him up in Slovakia or something? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might have to if we're, if we're sitting around for too long. I don't know how much chinny hockey I can play. Yeah, like, if this thing drives on and, and you know, the, uh, the lockout is of any length, do you, do you have other plans to uh, play overseas? Not, not as of yet. I don't have any, uh, any plans yet because we all don't know how long this is going to be. If we're only out for a month, then I don't think it would be very beneficial to go somewhere, but uh, if we're locked out for any length of time, I might have to start looking for, for a place to stay sharp, because mm -hmm. going out there and doing that every day for a whole season isn't going to be good. Like, you need to get games. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing the same as playing a hockey game. Do you think it's more about staying sharp and money? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just a matter of, of being in, in game situations. Like, playing three on three every day isn't going to benefit you that much. Yeah. You know? Do you expect that group to get bigger or smaller as time goes on? I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Like, like I said, we don't know how long it's going to be. If if it is going to be longer, then you might see guys, you know, going and finding a place to play. But as of right now, I think I think we're kind of just waiting it out right now. Mm -hmm.